right, guys, I just want to show you the weather satellite. This comes in different wavelengths, and you'll have fun with this website. I'm going to leave you the link to all of our weather resources because we can't watch the weather for you. When there's a flood, there's 50 channels talking about the flood, but nobody telling you overall what's causing it, what it means, and where your future lies. You notice here at the very top of the screen, right about the middle of the frame, you'll see that clockwise rotation, very large vortex, kind of dry in the northern part, kind of wet in the southern part. But you see that river of moisture going up through Southern California, headed right up to the Great Lakes. And, you know, that, w that water actually goes the entire length of the United States in about three days. So that's a pretty fast-moving spiral arm. If you're camped underneath a river like that for a couple days, you could get severe flooding. Or when that water runs into a cold front up north, boom, you can see how that big blob of water uh, just explodes over Illinois and Montana. And, and it's just really, uh, North Dakota, excuse me, and and it's just really high density, high density water, incredible flooding, and we don't want that to catch anybody off guard. The weather warnings, you know, you, you get them all the time. Sometimes they pan out, sometimes you don't, and some that doesn't lend itself to people hearing your warnings very well. So. We're going to post a link to all of our weather resources in the comment box. We're going to make this available to everybody, including our YouTube subscribers. And, and that's there so you can monitor the weather, so you can make changes, so you can make travel plans and change travel plans. Because sometimes when it's cloudy, that's when you want to be outside. And when it's sunny, that's when you don't want to be outside. But if it's so cloudy that it's raining and lightning and 60 mile an hour winds, then you want to go back inside again. So the best way to really monitor the world is through the weather satellite system. So they've been changing it. They've been switching over. They've been deactivating. You know, it's hard to keep track of these weather satellites, but mainly uh, we're doing it and giving you those links so that we don't have to monitor the weather for you. Uh, and when we do, if we, we talk about the weather, it's always about an analysis and, and not about, hey, uh, 15 people flooded today. It's not, you know, because there's 100 other channels out there doing that and repeating each other. And that's not what we do. So, so that, those big old long arms of water, those rivers, if you're camped under a wet river of moisture, and there will be some more this year, um, you can be flooded out in a matter of two days, three days. Also, when that river runs into a cold front uh, and a mass of c cooler air, you can get, you can see that explosion of moisture up there on the upper right-hand part of the screen, up there by the Great Lakes, and they're flooding out. It's it's a state of an emergency up there around the the Great Lakes. So um, you guys be safe. Don't drive through running water. Don't even drive through standing water. And, um, you know, be careful out there. And I just wanted to remind you that anybody who subscribes to our Patreon channel before July 1st will be eligible for free music downloads from, from Todd's files. He's going to start, either he's going to open his own Patreon channel or he's going to start just putting music on our Patreon channel. People ask about Karen. She's no longer with the channel. Uh, she was instrumental in getting us up and running, but she was also instrumental in our channel being taken down. Um, and the, you know, and she's doing good. I mean, her cancer is in remission, and I never thought it would get there. Uh, we were very careful about not killing the cancer too fast so that we weren't going to spill stem cells. And we weren't going to create too much of a toxicity issue. We were trying to starve the cancer. And that way, you, you know, you don't have as many viable stem cells when the cancer cells turn over and die. The, but she's doing okay. Um, she's struggling with some emotional issues that, uh, you know, are not her fault. Uh, but, 
you know, as we get older, we're going to be held accountable for our behaviors, no matter if we're powerless against them or not. And, um, you know, having uh, two ways of thinking, one that's illogical and one that completely absent of logic, is self-destructive. And it does burn bridges. It does create guilt and shame because you step on other people's toes or you end up manipulating and retaliating over really stupid stuff. You take your inner hatred and you turn it outward and you take all the men who you let abuse you over the last 50 years and then you end up taking it out on the, the person that's in front of you who's only done nothing but help you. Um, and that's a very self-destructive um, health issue even though it doesn't involve anything physical so she needs our prayers she needs our support um, and we miss her we, we miss uh, the old Karen we miss her so much but um, I'm afraid that she's lost and gone forever so let's hope let's hope that uh, you know a ship passing in the night she climbs aboard and finds the light and until next time see you over on Patreon